Welcome surf fans to the Hawaiian Pro. This is the 2015 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. Chris Cote here with Pete Mel for Heat 8. Here in the round of three, Felipe Toledo, Ian Walsh, Billy Stairmond, and Seth Moniz. Well, to start us off here, well, you all know who this is, Felipe Toledo, speeding down the line, big tail sliding snap to open up, making his way through to this inside section. Toledo, obviously having the best year of his career on the World Championship Tour, doing quite well in the QS as well, but watch out, Seth Moniz, power surfer from the other side of the island, Hawaii Kai. Spends a lot of time here on the North Shore. Obviously has surfed this place many, many times. Uh, pipeline the other night. Let's, uh, take a look at this wave, though. I mean, he manufactures this score. Um, that wave was a uh, bare minimum of uh, being able to get any kind of speed. And Felipe, I mean, this is uh, right up his alley. He surfs so well in smaller conditions. As you watch a replay here of Ian Walsh on this left. You know, set came right at the very first horn. Seth Moniz was able to get one and shut down on him, and uh, Ian gets the second wave of the set and gets a nice little backhand hook. I like that last turn. 4.33, it's the early... Rank number two in the world. There's been a, a battle going on at the in the top four on the World Championship Tour, which is very exciting. Out yesterday. But, uh, yeah, Felipe is uh, looking to win another Brazilian world title in, in Australia, and they've uh, they found a, a bit of a niche, and, um, and now supporting Brett and getting him to where he needs to be in order to compete. This is live action, Felipe Toledo. Three nice turns for Toledo, who again, you know, right there, great surfing, his size, and right here, you know, this is just like one, two, three, connect the dots surfing. Well, you can see just uh, pace is great. You know, he didn't, uh, you know, you like when a surfer pretty much surfs the wave all at a very... Throw it around in these small waves as well. Uh, Hawaii's right up his alley. Seth Moniz fades right, ends up cutting left onto his backhand. Left's becoming a little bit more prevalent through the morning, but real bouncy. We are uh, just at the high tide mark, and now on the right, Billy Stairmond. Nice, tight, coiled style as he carves a couple turns through this inside section. So Billy Stairman now. Some surfers though, they'll go quite big right out of the gates. Let's watch Seth Bonise here. You know, he faded that bottom turn so he could have that first hit. You know, the first section there on the left are generally pretty mushy. And then it starts to build up as it gets into shallow water. And here's Billy, had to chase this one down. You know, the right's at a, this size right now. You gotta get all the way to that toilet bowl before it starts to open up. But once he gets there, he does some nice turns, some nice arcs. You know, not a lot of vertical face to deal with. So he had to just kind of do some whips, but I like the speed that he carried through those pinpoints, get through heats today. Yeah, I saw right, that last right heat. on that mark. Felipe Toledo now going left again. So the left's really coming into play. That's a big tail whip from Toledo. Another quick speed turn. Finishes strong, wow. a little backside vertical snap. So now you're starting to see he's starting to uncoil a little bit on through his turns. Again, that's mushy on the takeoff, so you sit back and wait for it. But there, that was a tough section to be doing that time. And then that snapping car floats again and somehow fits in the final move. So three different types of moves, four different types of moves with the cutback. The speed out of the turn that he did out of his earlier bottom turn. Here he goes again. Well, Toledo now sticking these laps. Oh, he's he's pumping. He's going to the air. And again, that's a rarity. What? To see air? To see Felipe. <laughs> Felipe to well, I think one of the things that's nice about having these two 10,000 events, so let's get back to the action here real quick. Seth Moni is coiling up himself, going to the air. Can't come down. But I was going to say, with, that, with having, you know, the, the van's triple crown, yeah, because. Uh, it's something that, that, you know, like Felipe right now has chosen to do that. And I think it's a, a smart thing to do because you can, you can build momentum and build that uh, confidence in Hawaii. Well, speaking on building momentum, Billy Stairman, got a nice wave. This thing's reforming all the way to the inside. One more big vertical blast. That's the, up. the claps from the crowd, they like it. So he's checking out here. He, Gets up over the lip, projection out to that open face, carves it back, sets up this next section here again. Nice little whip. 
and uh, gets that rhythm just up down up down and finds another section here at the very end it's a good reward on the inside right there pipeline back door he does it all speaking of doing it all billy stairman he's really starting to turn it on in this heat pete yeah well it gets a 5.17 for that earlier lap to 2.37 for that one doesn't go into his two-way total but here on the backhand is uh, Seth Moniz, who sits in that third position. And uh, this one here, a 4.63, which uh, is his best wave so far. But take any wave he wants, he's going to take this first wave of the set. And, ooh, I don't know, that wave looks sort of good from the takeoff, but ran away with him, closed out. Didn't offer him uh, much of an opportunity. Seth Moniz surfing for a 4.05. Little opening snap. Foamy section to deal with recovers. A little bit of a nose dig. Back into the open face. That's that uh, grinder wave right there. Well, he's structures and no stringer, but it gives that real alive feel. You know, it's a, a different type of construction. Felipe Toledo going into the lip with a beautiful snapping carve, but just carved a little too hard. Affair for him. This turn looked great from the start. And look, he loads in it. Look at this section, too. It's nice and vertical. And he really laid into it, but the front foot, you know, probably took, you know, one of those things where you take the eye off the ball, kind of looking down to that next section before. Yeah he's, yeah, he's definitely had a paddle. Seth Moniz stands up and has to give way. Billy Stearman now on his back end. Smart surfing right there to keep Seth Moniz from uh, having one last go. Felipe Toledo just trying to finish strong. Nice oh. snap. Wow. Well, no worries though. Felipe Toledo has already won this heat. Surfing probably about 60%, I would say. I mean, <laughs> honestly, he just because we didn't, didn't see a full didn't rotation. A big air. He didn't really <laughs> surf like Felipe Toledo-ish. Still won the heat. That's that shows you his level and, and where he's at. You know what he's learning? Life. I was gonna say what he's learning is is that there's a, a momentum that you need to build. So he's doing that.